seen the West and sure it's rough, well, let those cowboys come here and see if they're tough enough. To work all day in sugar sand cow pens, the heat and hum humidity hot enough to purge sins, or fight skeeters and hordes thick enough to kill cattle, or race breakneck through a hammock and try to stay in the saddle. I've heard working cows out in Texas can get harsh, but let's see a cow puncher get a hair dick out of Dooley Marsh, where the cat claw vines rip at you riding on your horse, where risking life and limb is just a matter of course. The Nevada buckaroo on the high desert all day wouldn't stand much of a chance chasing cows in the callaway. Where the sawgrass is taller than a six-foot man, he'd have to relearn everything to make a hand. And those mountain country cowboys with their highlands so grand would be at a loss in our wet and wild hammock land. Down here, we depend more on cur cow dogs, not roping ability. And a man without a good cow dog, well, he sure has our pity. Let's see those western cowboys without a fence in sight take 300 head through a hammock and keep them bunched tight. It don't take a GED to work cattle on the plains, even if there ain't the use of pinning lanes. I'm sick and tired of folks thinking Florida ain't nothing but Beaches and sunshine and that Mickey Mouse nut. <laughs> Florida had ranches long for New Mexico, and it's time all the Johnny Come Latelys know that Florida was and still is prime cattle land. That we're not all for just sunshine, beaches, or sand. That if you took a hammock and piney woods cow hunter from here, he could work on the plains in the west with no fear. The cowboy might can work out west and make a hand. But in Florida, by gum, it takes a cow man. <laughs>